The music has changed, and I say this as a proud British Jew who is proud, and I mean that, to live in one of the most tolerant and open-minded countries on this earth. But things have changed. Anti-Semitism is in the mood music and in our political reality. The world is becoming less tolerant. People are frightened of migrants and strangers. The xenophobia is terrifying. And it's bad for our country, I believe, and for our Jewish community. It is my great pleasure to introduce our distinguished guest speaker this evening, the Home Secretary, the Right Honourable Amber Rudd MP. Home Secretary, welcome to CST's annual dinner, and thank you for coming to address us this evening. In this room, we have Jews, we have Christians, Muslims, people of no faith, left wing, right wing, women, men, but all committed to fighting anti-Semitism, racism, and extremism together. We know it is the police officers who are in the front line patrolling our streets investigating hate crimes and preventing terrorist attacks. We see the courage and professionalism with which they protect all of us and our communities every day. So to the many senior police officers who are our welcome guests here this evening, may I take this opportunity on behalf of CST and indeed the entire Jewish community to say a very loud thank you. Since CST was established in 1994, the charity has fought hate and prejudice. It's a valued and trusted government partner which administers over 13 million pounds of government grants for security guards and equipment at hundreds of Jewish schools, synagogues, and other Jewish venues. And that's why today I would like to announce our continued support. We'll be continuing the funding of the Jewish Community Protective Security Grant for 2017-18. We will provide £13.4 million for security measures in the Jewish community in the coming year. This money will go towards security guards and protection at independent and state Jewish schools, nurseries, synagogues and community sites. And I am proud to be part of a government which is here to offer both practical and moral support to you where and when it is needed. If you feel threatened, we will listen to you. And if you are victimized, we will defend you. And we will strive to build a Britain that Jews are proud to call home. Thank you. Tonight, we have tried to explain what CST does and why it now costs so much to do the work. Anybody who led any level of Jewish life last year will have been protected by CST across the entire country. That is what needed to be done, and that is what we do, and that is why we need your help. Our community gets excellent support from government, but opposition to anti-Semitism must never be a party political issue. It should be a basic requirement of any political party and of any political leader. Tonight, we're joined by friends from all of the main political parties, but I want to make a special mention of those Labour MPs who are standing up to this extraordinary challenge. <laughs> Look at what has happened in the year since we last met. The world is shifting under our feet, rightly or wrongly. People are angry. They don't only feel left behind, they feel betrayed, and they need someone to blame. Look around you. None of this is going to be good for Jews. And then, if Israel finds itself at war again, you can imagine the deluge of hate that will come on top of everything I've just said. That is why we need CST more than ever and that is why CST needs you.